Games viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. Now, anyone who plays Assassin's Creed understands a very important part is unlocking synchronization points. What I do like about Valhalla is there tends to be treasure or something around the synchronization points that make it more interesting than just jumping off of it and synchronizing. And in this case, Evinghu Tower is the synchronization point that I'm going to be exploring in this video. Like any location for synchronization, you have to climb up to the top and then synchronize the location. And in this case, it seems pretty easy until I realize, yeah, I have to jump back down and somehow walk around inside the tower in order to get to the synchronization point. But that's where things get a little interesting. Because, okay, I see these two blue spots. One's a letter. And I read the letter, and it's a notice of excommunication, which means some guy was kicked out of the church, essentially. That's interesting. So the next area, come around here, and it's behind one of these moving wall things that are now common. I can't shove it and I can't move it side to side or I have to move it side to side so I smash everything to the one side and I shove it aside and then there's this door. Thankfully it's not locked and I see a dead monk and there is the letter over there and you read it and this guy found this strange, weird thing that he's trying to decipher, and he couldn't. So there's a treasure located around here somewhere, and eventually I'm going to get to the synchronization point. Yeah, that's the other letter, and yeah, that's the other letter. So I'm going to try and get to the synchronization point. Now that I've synchronized, I cannot ex I can explore the tower for the ingot and some other riches that are inside this area and location. And like any Assassin's Creed Valhalla thing, you can see right there, there's going to be a guy. They don't make it easy. And yeah, this is the obvious one, but... There's also an inobvious entrance, which I'm going to have to look for, and that becomes a real pain. And that's one of the problems with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. After running around the tower, I come to this area of these vines, and I realize I can smash open this window, and that gets that guy's attention, and I'm going to shoot him. Okay, I'm enter. Yeah, now the guy, he's one of those big fat dudes, the Goliath guys. And he's, okay, yeah, he's tossing Ivor around. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here and try and shoot him. That worked, and I'm going to loot the dude. 
and see what else is around here. There's some food, some basic. Oh, there's a nickel ingot. That's good. Some incoherent note, blah, blah, blah. The guy, yeah, you read the note. It's incoherent. But it is interesting. And this chest, some silver, or weight ore, scraps of leather. There's nothing else around here. I don't see any way of getting to another location. So I'm pretty much done with this room. Now I get back to this location. And to be honest with you, I wasted a lot of time trying to figure out how to get into here. I'm just going to cut to where I do find another area and a solution and then cut to this area's solution. While looking for a solution to get into the other location, I find this camp with an explosive jar and I tried using that, but the reality is this explosive jar is for this area right here, this well. And hopefully that would lead into the other area. So yeah, I set the explosive jar down. And back up a little bit here. And shoot it. And let things burn out. And then get the loot that is in this sealed well. Just a chest. Now I'm going to get to the solution to the other area. Like I said, I wasted a lot of time, and I'm just going to cut to that area. Yeah, I wasted a lot of time, and then as I walked away, I realized, hold on, right there, right behind me was the way in. And so I climbed up. And sure enough, yeah, there was this area. Now there's this barred area, and you got to shoot these. Um, jars or something and destroy them because they're blocking that one uh moving thing so let's see i'm going to set the arrow on fire and let's see what i can do with that there we go now i thought okay that's it nothing in the way but i wasted a little time here I'm going to get back and shove the moving shelf thing out of the way. And that was the big treasure, a Roman artifact. Now, one of the things about Assassin's Creed Valhalla is they leave a lot of subtle hints that you got to pick up on. And yeah, it's a little confusing, <clears throat> but you really shouldn't waste a lot of time. Move on. The treasures won't be gone. And that is what I'm doing. I'm going on to the next location. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you won't miss out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.